In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, one God, amen. Uh, this is the word of truth. Thy word is truth from uh, Rivers of Living Water, Pastor Susie Antoon. Uh, just uh, God really changed my message once and twice, but um, just want to uh, ask him, the Holy Spirit to guide me in only what he wanted to say. Uh, because uh, this is here, as you can see, that the Lord Jesus is coming and he's taking all the seed of the woman. If you don't know what's the meaning of this, all the sons and daughters who are born of God, he will put the ones who are his on the right and on the left, he put the other ones. Uh, and, and my message was friendly message, but God changed it. Um, you may be aware of... Uh, uh, is happening into Israel. We'll share it in a moment. But the word of God from uh, the book of Revelation ab about uh, Sodom and Egypt. Uh, and, and, and this is what it say. And their uh, dead bodies shall be in the street in the grave. It's talking about the two witness, um, which spiritually uh, called Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. Uh, this was always a puzzle piece of the scripture for me. I never understand what the meaning of there is a place called Sodom and Egypt where the Lord Jesus is crucified. Um, but as we can see, you know, what's happening around the world is not very hard to explain what is Sodom. And Egypt is a little bit more difficult, but we will try. The thing is, um, there is shaking around the world in every country, maybe. People are railing outside, even in Australia, this peaceful continent, we have things uh, uh, in South America, everywhere. And the, here is the thing, if the foundation are destroyed, what can the righteous do? This is here the foundation that God put for um, the nations and the world. And if, you know, even intercession cannot work into this hour, this is from the Psalm 11. So what we're digging into that prophecy of the city of Sodom and, uh, and, and this is gonna affect the old world. Uh, here is the two uh, uh, witness and I will grant authority to my two witness and they will prophesy for 1260 days, close in thick close. These two witness gonna, their prophecy and then he'll be taken, they'll be raptured into the, uh, like the one who raptured before uh, and then the time of the end will come. But let's see what's happening in Jerusalem these days. Uh, if you don't watch the news, uh, this is what's happening. But before then, let's go for that comment. Trump called United States this a third world country uh, run by perverts. I don't know if you like this or not, but I like it. <laughs> this was a new from... Uh, Two days or a day ago, anti-Semitism, shame in schools. And I thought that in here in Australia now, it's in England. The rabbi are very furious about the things happening around them because they're talking about the schooling of the children. And now the 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 country wanted to intervene in what the teach, ch children will be taught. So in these places, they taught them the Torah, the word of God, and, and the, the this. People say, leave us alone. They wanted to introduce, if even you are uh, school teaching your children, uh, introduce the agenda of uh, the pervert as you know, uh, uh, Trump calling it. Um, we can see here what is happening. A protester marched from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem uh, for this law he wanted to, and this was for 29th week. And here in, before the passage of the law today, uh, the, if you cannot see, this is our tents. People are living into the street in front. They are waiting for, and, and Netanyahu came and he said he would not, uh, this is like a strong government to overrule every uh, law or every uh, judge, whatever upper court will come. It, it, he can overcome this by certain people. And people of the democracy, of course, it's not really democracy they are after. It's about the, I'll show you the, the picture in a minute. <clears throat> well, and I've, I, I knew that Netanyahu will win, even though, you know, he, he was for that long time, 
uh, he was threatened. He said, I would divert this, I'll put it later, I'll put it in another format. But today, the law was passed in, Aus in, uh, in uh, and what is that law? Israeli politician just passed a deeply controversial ju judicial reform bill. Here is why it could be pushed to the country to the brick. People are very upset and you can uh, see here they are railing outside after they pass, you know, and now the medical are, uh, you know, uh, saying we're not gonna, uh, they're not gonna go to work tomorrow. The militian, thousands of Israeli military reservists who still actively serve have also threatened not to turn up for duty tomorrow, which would severely impact the country, the legal people, the doctors. Many people around the nation are very upset about this, like something for them against democracy. And here is the thing. What is this in the middle? What that flag has to do with every aspect of our life in everywhere. And I was like crazy woman in the street screaming and telling to the uh, things in Australia, why are we doing you know, the things we're doing uh, with the Aboriginal? Why that flag is related to it here and here, why? So they wanted the country to be, and, and the, the Jews or the rabbi want a strict nation so they will not introduce this perversion into the mind of their nation. And um, we are very unhappy that our uh, government here in uh, Australia are very left hand government, very bad. They are pushing this agenda or allowing it. And God have mercy on us because um, like I said in the beginning, when the, the, the truth is shaken in the core, what the, the righteous will do. So this is what is happening in Israel. So today after this, uh, it's probably gonna win. Because when I was saying, you know, um, it, we need a very strong government to rule the whole world, very vicious government. So all the weak government will not work because this agenda of wickedness and the Antichrist agenda will enter. So a weak uh, leader will not work. And Netanyahu, uh, he did, he's not really fearing. He was in the hospital doing uh, uh, surgery in his heart. When the foundation are destroyed, what the, can the righteous do? Psalm 11, 13. So let's go to the easy part about Egypt. Uh, Egypt uh, in Exodus 1, 13, 14. This is the hard part, but I found it like really uh, taking it out of the way. The Egyptian made of the children of Israel serve with rigor. Rigor means like with difficulty and they made their life bitter with hard bondage. Uh, and another verse here, and the Egyptian tyrannized in another translation over the children of Israel. Another word that make them work harshly or harshness with severely with cruelty. They were afflicting the children of God. And this is here the two hands of uh, the equation. Uh, the too much looseness and we go to uh, mutilation, the children and uh, pervert leading the country to the Islamic very strong uh, ruling and whatever uh, uh, on the opposite end. So it, this is too extreme of too much religion, no much religion, whatever. No much fear of God, too much fear of God without the, the life of God and mercy in it. So this is probably the meaning as, as the way I see it. It can be having more depth into it. Um, and here in Exodus 3, 7, what he's saying, and the Lord said, I have surely seen the affliction of my people which are in Egypt. Now in Egypt here, like God has seen what happening to his children in the world. We're really afflicted about all the evilness around us. Lot was afflicted by what's happening around him from perversion. His soul was aching in him day and night. And he, God have heard the cry like last time on a preach about if God will hear what will happen. Um, if uh, for I know their sorrows. And here is calling it on Exodus 20 and verse two, he said, I'm the Lord your God, which have brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. 
God is about to break that bondage and release the people. But the spirit of bondage, that's why I'm saying the government of Netanyahu with that strength and cruelty and severity, uh, you like it or you don't like it, it's going parallel to what is gonna happen into the end time and, and the agenda of the Antichrist. So that's why he will win. Either people like it or they don't like it, uh, you know, democracy is gonna be, um, I've seen here as well, you know, the, I lost it or what? In Argentina, people are in the street. And everywhere people are on the street for a reason. These things will stop. You will not see it when the Antichrist will come. He'll be so fierce, cruel, cruel character that you will not really believe. Um, I was reading, you know, on, uh, shall we go into this or not? Um, sorry, I'm in the wrong one. Uh, I, I, I was reading on Daniel 7 and the description, if you want to go further and see what's the description of this Antichrist guy, so you know what is happening. So you enjoy the last freedom part of the human life. And I'm going to tell you this will happen everywhere in the world because the word of God prophesied it or speaking about it. Daniel 7 and verse 19, he said that uh, there will be that beast who is coming and he will be exceeding dreadful with teeth with iron and nail of brass. He devour and break in pieces and stamp the residues his feet. His horn is made of war and he will go and war with the chil uh, children of God, like I said last time and he will prevail, but the uh, ancient of days will give the kingdom to the saints. But between this and that, what will happen? He sh shall devour the whole earth. So we are enjoying the last piece of democracy, freedom or liberty in any country of the world, no matter who they are or uh, are their first word or third word, doesn't matter and he shall treat it down and break into pieces. And then he shall be diverse from the first and shall subdue three kings. He'll be very, very vicious, strong. Um, if you want to know more about him, uh, I don't know if this is a topic on the end of the day. Um, I, I read that it will be coming from the cursed land. Uh, talking about Sodom now and, and Gomorrah. Sodom and Gomorrah, are not the only uh, two uh, cities who were destroyed into the time when God came to Lot. The nations around it were destroyed too. But they're not very famous because we don't read carefully the word of God. So this is our main prophecy. And the body of these two saints uh, that will uh, be in the street of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt. The great city, of course, this is Jerusalem. It's not really... Um, hard to understand, where also our Lord was crucified. He was crucified in Jerusalem. But here is a um, word in Matthew 10, verily I said unto you, this is Jesus talking, <clears throat> it shall be more tolerable for the land of Sodom and Gomorrah into the day of judgment than those for that city. So there will be cities who in the day of the judgment that will be judged more um, worse than Sodom and Gomorrah. Uh, not knowing, I will read for you now that Sodom and Gomorrah are, are cursed and are uncultivated till the day. And I'll show you even in pictures. But the word of God said it, Deuteronomy 29, 23. The whole land therefore is in brown store and salt and burning. And this is not sown, nor you cannot sow in it, nor bears, nor any grass grow. This is written into the word. Uh, and like the other throw of Sodom and Gomorrah, Adma and Zeboim. This is another nation who had the same fate on that time. Deuteronomy is the book when Moses is repeating the story to the people of uh, Israel. So he's telling the story again. That's the story of Sodom and Gomorrah and Adma and Zeboim. It's not only these two nations, there is others. And uh, I have uh, in Jeremiah 23, say, I have seen the folly of the prophet of Samaria that prophesy 
in Baal and cause my people Israel to err. The prophets of Jerusalem, they commit adultery, walk in lies, strengthen also the hand of evil doer. And they are all of them unto me as Sodom and the inhabitant of Gomorrah. God is throwing Sam Samaria, which is the 10 tribes and Judah, which is, you see the, the, the Jews are scattered around the world and they don't even know their identity. That's a pitiful thing. Isaiah again uh, is speaking about it, unless the Lord of hosts left um, uh, for us a small remnant will be like Sodom and will be like Gomorrah. Uh, Amos, all of them are speaking about uh, Sodom and Gomorrah. And into the New Testament, And Amos is saying that I've overthrew you as God overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah, yet you have not returned unto me. People do not return to God after punishment. You give a child a punishment. I, I just had this a little bit with my children. Uh, I found very difficult to punish them. A person who cannot be punished cannot be corrected. That's very hard. So they never return to him. In, in even New Testament, they're speaking about in Peter 2, 2 Peter 2 and Jude 1, he's saying that the Dome of Gomorrah went after a strange flesh. And what we're seeing here into, uh, you know, that's between the house of bondage and between all the last do whatever you want, extreme strength and beating and whatever, to extreme um, lawlessness. This is probably the meaning of these two parts. But there is other, Jesus said here into this prophecy that will be nations will be doomed more than Sodom and Gomorrah. So what are those nations which are um, cursed into the Bible? Um, you probably didn't know. Uh, I was studying and I found it very interesting in Matthew 11 and Luke 10, he's talking about um, this nation, Kafranaum. Uh, I have a picture for you here. This is the Sea of Galilee where Jesus was doing most of his miracle. And if you want to increase the magnification here, and you can see this is Korazim. Korazim, this is the worst one. And Beth Hazda and Kafranahum. Korazim, uh, there is a prophecy or book written in the old, it's not conical. This is here uh, where you find the non-canonical apocalypse of the pseudo messages He predicted that the Antichrist will be coming from Kor Korazim, this part here. And that's why Jesus gave the curse over those nations. This is picture of this uh, four or five city I, I spoke about on our day. They're not cultivated, they're not inhabited in, in Jerusalem where there is all the, the culture, agriculture uh, technology of the whole world. And there are uncultivatable land. So the, the, into this prophecy, they say they may come from this place and, uh, uh, and I, I describe it to you, his features from the book of Daniel. Uh, so, this is, uh, and then during, if you read into this prophecy or this book, whatever, I just like to know sometimes that it will be conceived in Korazim, uh, where the Lord said woe to those three cities. Uh, and then there will be the king of uh, Greek is coming. And I don't know what will happen, a lot of things. And then God will withdraw his providential care from the earth. Heaven will be prevented from letting fall rain and earth from producing germs and plants. I was reading in the news today, very, very un, unheard news, unheard. Uh, this one, Argentina. Uh, that was, uh, I don't know, uh, it's not showing. Um, amoeba eating the brain of a child in, in here in, uh, in our country. Amoeba are bigger and they're talking about virus. Amoeba is not virus, not bacteria, it's something in the middle, in the size. And, and there is something called the brain, uh, blood-brain barrier. 
God create a barrier, the, those things cannot enter into the brain. So for an amoeba, which is bigger than a little bit, you know, virus is very, very unseen. You need a microscope, electronic microscope to see it. So these big things to go and, and a child in Australia are, are dying from such thing, this is unheard. Uh, so this is things that are gonna happen uh, after God, you know, uh, again, I go to this one. I should not be going, let me close it. Uh, there will be, God will draw his providential, like I said, and that there will be, earth will produce germs and plants and the earth shall remain like an iron through drought and heaven like a breath. All those things, it will not be into the time of the children of God, but there will be the Jews who didn't find their Messiah and they need to recognize him. They're gonna pass through all that horrors to receive their Messiah. And when their eyes will see him, because what he's saying here, something very interesting, that's why I'm reading it for you. Um, so the heaven will be like brass and iron will be like a drought. The son of perdition appear. Uh, he will come from the seed of the tribe of Dan. Uh, Dan is one of the serpent. If you read carefully about the prophecies of Dan, one of the 10, uh, 12 tribes of Israel, and he will lead astray the whole world. He's saying here that all the miracles will happen through him, leper cleanse, blind see, but he will not be able to resurrect someone. Uh, and the sun will be black, the moon will be dark. You know, we know all those things. Uh, and then let's see this uh, funny part. He'll sit upon upon the throat in the temple saying that he is the Christ. Uh, and a lot of by legion of devils will be among him. And he, he's uh, gonna claim that he's the fulfillment of everything. And he will put an end into the prayer. So they are really uh, saying the same things which said before, but into another way. So sometimes you pick things when it's said differently. He put an end to the prayer and the offering. And if it has uh, appearance, prayer are to be abolished. People will not pray. That's something happened before in the time of uh, uh, when Nebuchadnezzar Nasser said, no one asked from anyone but me. That was end of prayer, similar thing. So the prayer will be abolished and men would not need a sacrifice or offering along with him. But here is uh, the things will get be a bit worse. He become a man incarnate by an, a married woman of the tribe of Dan uh, for this son, of the destruction become a man. And I'll show you here into uh, this. The Bible is telling us which side of the word he will say. So no one uh, claim that it's not tell. It's, it's already said into the Bible clearly. We do not need an extra piece of the scripture to tell us because God tell us, I'm gonna read it for you now from Daniel. So this man will be incarnated from a moon. Incarnate mean he be a human, from a, a one from the tribe of, and he's the son of destruction, and he became a man. Now he had a format. He made, and he will be made of the dwelling place for devils, and all satanic working will be perfected in him. And here I do not know this, and I uh, apologize to the Indian. I didn't write this. There will be gathering together with him, all the devils and all the host of the Indians. I didn't write it, but it is written. And before all the Indians and before all men, will the mad Jewish nation believe in him, saying that this is the Christ, the expectation of the world. That's the bad part, you know. So this is here the, the government of Israel that strong government uh, ruling like a fist of iron um, will be uh, supporting that um, incarnated demonic world again, I, I guess, you know, it's not a man, but, uh, and all men will be made the Jew Jewish nation believing in him. All men will 
the mad Jewish nation, the mad Jewish nation, he called them. And I don't know what the Indian uh, has to do with this, but it is into that. And then the prophecy say that it will be uh, three and a half years or two and a half, three and a half. Elijah will uh, show up and then he turned the heart of the father to the children, children to the father before they have their eyes open and they see and they say, oh, that's him that we pierced and things will turn a different way. But this is description set from that book, like uh, I told you, it's a sacred book, they call it. But here is um, the prophecy. Uh, there'll be two animals into Daniel 8, Greece and Persia. And I thought like if you have a, um, a ram uh, and have a goat, the Arab nations, you know, will be the, the goat. No, Persia is the ram. Ram is like a lamb, you know, that kind of animal. Well, the goat is Greece and the Antichrist will come from, from the uh, Western world. Uh, different from all the expectation that you wanted to, to think. Uh, here again, another picture, Medjo Persian empire, the ram, that's like uh, the uh, lamb, that's Medjo Persian empire. And this here, the goat is the Greek empire. The word of God is describing everything. You just need to read it. And the Greek guy from the Western world, he gonna crush this, Persian or the Arab word, I don't know. When he's saying um, the Medjo Persian, he mean uh, only Iran or he mean with the, because Iran and the Arab words are not the same thing. Even in religion, they're different. They are Shia while the other Muslim words are Sunnah. It's like the Protestant and the Catholic, but he crush him. You know, he can clearly crush him. So that is a good description if you wanted to know more in, uh, Daniel 7 and Daniel 8 about him. I'm just going to pause and uh, open another one because that was not my topic at all. But it's coming together with what's happening in Israel. And I'm telling you, even with the picture that we saw today, the all the nation and, and the homosexual are just bumping everywhere. The people who want to mutilate and give him a sacrifice, jumping everywhere. They want the free... I don't know freedom of what doing everything wrong and pulling us with them into eternal damnation. And as like I said last time, the problem is what they do will affect the nation. We're living here unless we have an intercession. Uh, we, we're not interceding and praying for God. God, we are here. We are not responsible of this. Have mercy on us. Uh, then we uh, those things can be, um, you know, uh, taking another time, not our time. But Father, I just uh, pray that people will have wisdom. I pray peace over Israel with all those things happening. I pray peace over uh, uh, Australia, Argentina, over Egypt, over uh, Philippines, over all the nation when there is trouble, Lord. We are your children. We are your bride. And you know, we do not know what to do uh, when the, the foundation is destroyed. There is Egypt who are with cruelty wanted to devour the children of God. And there is the Sodomy, Sodomy which wanted to destroy us in another way and give us to the evil. So I pray that we protect your children, Lord, and they may take your word in serious format they come to repentance and give their life to you, not postpone it to later and be indulged in whatever is given to them. I pray freedom, Father, from the bondage of the devil and the evil one and the bondage of that sexual lust who is and this perversion which is sweeping around the world. I pray that into the name of Jesus. Amen. <laughs>